Okay, the reason you've clicked on this video is to learn how to add rain to an image in Photoshop, which is what we are going to do here. I'm not going to make any other adjustments to this image. I'm not going to clean it up. I'm just going to show you how to add rain. Step one, add a new blank adjustment layer. From there, you want to fill that with blank. I found the quickest and easiest method is just go to your paint bucket tool, make sure your foreground color is set to black, and click on it. There you go, it's all black. Once you've made that black, we need to add some noise to it. So go filter, noise, add noise. Um, I like to leave mine in kind of the 15 to 20% range, depending on how much you want. You do want to make sure you have Gaussian Blur and Monochromatic checked. Hit OK. Now go and take your Rectangular Marquee tool and grab a section of that image. It doesn't need to be a whole bunch, just a little bit. Hit Control J on your keyboard. What that's going to do is it's going to create a new layer with just that selection. You can then take that previous one, the one that was fully colored in black, and drag it to the bin. We don't need it anymore. Jump back to that layer and now hit your move tool and then grab a corner and stretch it out so it covers the whole thing so you can see we're getting this nice pixelation going on on here. That's what we want. Hit enter. Now that we have that, you want to add a layer mask. So hit your add layer mask. Now go to blending modes and change from normal to screen. You can kind of see there we're getting a little bit of what looks like rain. In order to make this look a bit more like rain, we need to add some blur. So now go to filter, blur, motion blur. And you can kind of see this little sample up here in this in the window. And you can change the angle that you want your rain to come down from. And you can change the distance. So I'm going to go a little bit on the lower side for this one. I think I like the look of that. So around 29 pixels. Hit OK. Next thing you want to do is add a levels adjustment layer. As always, there's multiple ways to do this. I'm just going to go to my adjustments palette. Hit levels. Be sure when you've got the levels up, there's this little box here with a little arrow pointing down underneath it. You want to select that so that way it knows to adjust to what's happening directly underneath it. You can then drag it to the right and left, and this is going to affect the density and thickness. So notice how it's getting kind of thick, looking a bit more like snow than rain. And on the left side, if I grab the black side, it's going to thin it up. So I don't want it to be too thick. Just don't want you to be able to see stuff. And this, you just kind of have to eyeball based upon your particular image. For mine, yeah, I think about right there, I think looks good. Next thing you want to do is just grab both of those two layers and you want to duplicate them. So now I've got two of those. And the reason why you want to do this is because rain doesn't necessarily always come from the same direction, same distances. This is where adding that layer mask comes in handy because you can further refine your blur adjustments which you wouldn't be able to do if you had not done that. Not too much. And you can kind of see how it's looking a bit more like rain now. So now that I've got it roughly looking where I want, this is a quick tutorial, so there might be a little too much here and some changes I need to make to it, but you get the idea. I want to now grab all of those layers that I did my adjustments on and I want to create a group out of those. So just uh, select them all, go to the little menu drop down here and go new group from layers, hit okay. And the reason I want to do that is because now what I can do is add an adjustment layer to that. I can zoom in just a bit grab my paintbrush tool, make sure my foreground color is black, and I can erase some of that rain that's around me 
So maybe I want to be able to see the face a little bit. And I don't want it to look, you know, quite so much like I'm being rained on. So there you go. You can see a little bit more of me better. And, and that's the basics of doing this. There are hundreds of other tweaks and adjustments that we can do and play around with. And maybe I'll show one of those other methods in a later video. But I wanted to show a very quick, easy, basic way to add some rain to an image. Hope you found that useful. As always, feel free to leave a comment, like, share, and all that other stuff that we like to get on YouTube.